Hello dolls and gents and welcome back to my channel. I'm on my way to work. Um, I don't have my lip on yet. I just picked up some uh, breakfast from Zakadu, some cheese grits. I love cheese grits so I usually eat that at my desk and then I'll do my lips and I've got my coffee here in my cup that I think I got from Walmart. It says keep calm and bling on. So I got my coffee just headed in to work i'm not going to look at you guys too much unless there's a red light because i'm driving vlogging um but i just wanted to let you guys know that i appreciate all of you watching my videos there are a lot of you that i don't even know that watch my videos and i really appreciate it especially when you go on instagram and i approve you and you say hey i watch you all the time i enjoy it and i really appreciate that because there are a lot of people that I don't even know are watching me or who you are. You can see me, but I don't know who you are. And it's just greatly appreciated. I do YouTube as a hobby. I love doing it. It's fun. Um, I love watching people videos. I learn a lot. Um, I watch videos all day, especially at work. Tips and tricks and makeup. Because there's always something to learn. There's no rules to it. There's always something to learn. So I absolutely enjoy it. If you're not following me on Instagram and you want to, you can leave me your Instagram name and I'll approve you, uh, request you, because I know some people are saying they can't find me. If you don't have a picture, an actual picture of yourself or whatever, um, a lot of times I won't approve you um, just because I don't know who you are. There are some mean and cruel people out there and mean and cruel people on YouTube. And then there's also Melissa. My lifetime hater out there and I don't want her on my page so I have to be careful with who I put on my page and make sure that you are who you are and you're an actual person so those of you who have like a cartoon picture magazine picture whatever it is or no picture on your page that is why you're still sitting there or not being approved so if you would like to follow me on Instagram definitely leave your name down below and I'll request you um, also my Twitter is is uh, long nails queen uh nails has a z on the end instead of s i don't really care who follows me on there i usually only tweet when my show was on but other than that i'm barely on twitter but i am on there um so yeah so i just want you guys to go ahead and and you know check me out request me follow me i'd love to actually see who you are and be able to show some of the love back so i'm headed into work i've got on my Estee Lauder Double Wear today mixed with some Revlon, a lighter color Revlon because my Estee Lauder Double Wear is a little bit too dark for me and it also gives off a red, red undertone on me so I have to tone that down. I just think that makeup companies did not think about the sun when they made makeup. Um, I don't have a problem with blotting about five hours in usually i do my makeup it's 7 46 now so my makeup is completely done by seven i'm out the house by 7 40 my makeup is completely done by seven and um usually about three o'clock i start to look um oily and i'll blot which is good timing two three o'clock that's good timing for me that's about the most i'm gonna make it sometimes one o'clock depends on if i go outside on my break or not but I also find that about 3 o'clock I'm looking cakey. I don't look cakey in the morning when I do it. But I find that about 3 o'clock when I go to touch up my face, I'm oily and cakey. Um, and I have a brush and I, you know, brush it up. I think that brushing it up with more powder sometimes helps and sometimes it doesn't. And then um, I have a setting spray that I carry with me. And also um, a like Fix Plus, like MAC Fix Plus spray that I carry with me but it doesn't help once that makeup cakes up and it's so hot and I got to go out for lunch it's basically down to the bottom line of just trying to get it to look normal in some type of way until you get off work other than that you got to do your whole face over again so I don't know if anyone else has that problem I'm in South Georgia it's hot as fire and I can be looking beat till about two or three o'clock and then I'm oily and I'm a cakey mess um I've tried not setting it with uh two powders in the morning um i've tried not putting my powder underneath it before i do my foundation because there's different ways that i do my foundation some days i'll put a powder on underneath 
my foundation and the powder on top some days i won't put a powder underneath and see if that helps nothing helps nothing helps um the sun just literally beats the hell out of your makeup basically so i was watching gosh the makeup artist and i'm not promoting him in any way if you follow him or watch him you can i was watching him and he was saying to do a mineral powder before your foundation do a mineral powder and then do your whole foundation routine or whatever and it'll keep down on some of the cakiness so i think i'm gonna do a mineral powder next week i'm gonna try that technique i'll pretty much try anything um i'm gonna try that technique next week and see how it does with the cakiness how it does with the oiliness i have a bare minerals mineral powder that i never use never use never use i don't buy mineral powders never use them but if this trick works then it will be a staple in my collection so i'm gonna try that next week and see how that works but just wanted to come chat with you guys on my way to work actually love chatting with you talking with you make sure you comment down below i love reading the comments i love answering back i do answer back i do comment back or thumbs up your comment if you're not asking me anything so definitely do that i want to see who you are so leave your instagram channel or name down below leave your youtube channel down below so i can go return the love and i'll see you guys next time